Can you hear me now? Yes. Thank yes, you very excellent. much. Sorry, sorry for the inconvenient. Uh, these are earphones and I usually don't use this. I use something different, but it's, it's giving me problems. Anyways, sorry for the inconvenient. Uh, my name is Francisco Marroquin. Uh, I am 49 years old. I live in Lourdes. I'm married. I have five children. And my occupation, my profession, I am an English teacher. So I have worked uh, with different institutions, different levels, children, adults, teenagers. So basically, I have covered uh, three different categories. So that is me in my free time. Uh, I usually spend time with my family. And um, basically, that's what I do. Any questions or comments? None. No. Okay, very good. So, what's my name? Francisco Marroquin. Very good. How old yes. am I? How old am I? Forty-five. Forty-five years old. I am forty-nine. 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 Sorry. I'm going to be fifty this year. How many children do I have? Five, five children. children. Five. <laughs> how many boys and how many girls? Don't do tell us. Uh -huh. How do you say "no lo dijo" in English? You didn't say. Good. You, didn't say. you didn't say very good remember when we're talking about past tense and the information is negative you have to say didn't so you didn't say i have two boys and three girls my last boy his name is mateo he is four years old and my first daughter her name is leslie she is 27 years old so there is a big gap four and 27 but that's life. Anyways, uh, what do I do in my free time? What activities do I do in my free time? <laughs> I can't Spend remember. Spend time with your family. Spend time with my family. Exactly. Very good. And where do I live? Lourdes. In Lourdes. Yes. Lourdes. Yes. London. London in English. So I live in London. Yes. <laughs> but Teacher, teacher, yes, ask me. There is Lourdes, there is Lourdes Colón or Lourdes uh, so the far neighborhood. Terminal. Yeah, good question. You know, people ask me that question like, now when you say Lourdes, is it near Barrio La Vega or Lourdes Colón? I live in Lourdes exactly. Colón. Yeah, Lourdes Colón. Yeah. Thank you. All right, good. So, any questions or comments? Why did I ask you questions? Why? Why did I ask you questions? Uh -huh. Because what? you wanted, because you wanted to know if we were paying attention. Excellent. Because I need to know if you're paying attention. Very good. So when you are having a conversation and the other person is talking, what are you supposed to do? Listen. Exactly. You're supposed to listen. Very good. All right. So the same way I introduce myself, my name, where I live, my marital status, my age. But for some people, age is, uh, they prefer to change the subject. So they don't mention the age. And that's okay. That's fine. So I need your name. Uh, where you live and your marital status. Volunteer, please. Volunteer. Okay. My yeah. name is Luis. My name is Luis. I live in Santa Ana. I am happy divorced. And I have 50. You are 50. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. What part of Santa Ana are you in, Luis? Sorry? 
what part of Santa Ana are you in? Outside of Santa Ana, near of the Carretera Vieja to San Salvador. Oh, okay, very good. Thank you, Luis. All right, someone else? Me, teacher? Can go I ahead, try? Please. Yes, go ahead, Max. Okay, my name is Maximiliano Vasquez. I'm living in San Jacinto, near from Lourdes, La Vega. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm 44 years old. Um, I'm single. Um, uh, I'm work for people with disability. My occupation is, tell me if this is correct. I'm bachelor in social work. Is that correct? I have a bachelor's of social work, yes. Excellent. I have a bachelor of social work and, and working for in many, in many things, training, uh, refer, uh, manager with, in association for people with disability. And that's all. Good, very good. Do you have children, Max? Ah, I don't have children yet. Okay, good, very good. Thank you, Max. Just to pay. What is it? What did he say? Two pets. Oh, two pets. Dogs or cats? Uh, cats. Dogs. Dogs. Okay, good. Thank you, Max. Okay, who is next? Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead, Cecilia. Yes, uh, my name is Cecilia. I live in San Salvador, near of the new hospital of El Salvador. And I like to watch movies and I am 24 years old and I am married. Very good. Do you have children, Cecilia? No, yet. Very good. Thank you, Cecilia. You're welcome. Next. Me. Go ahead, Elena. Okay, my name is Elena Zarate. I live in San Salvador, uh, relative near to, El, the, to the Inframen. And um, I'm married. And I have two girls. Two girls, okay. Yes, and I, I have a 38, nice, 38 years old. You are 38. I am 38. I am 38. Good, very good. Thank you, Elena. Who is next? Me. Go ahead, no, Carla. Go ahead, Carla. Uh, hi. hi, my name is Carla Guzman. I live in Antiguo Cuscatlán, San Salvador. I, I am 21 years old and I am single. Okay. And... <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> Are you studying right now, Carla? Um, no, but I finished my, ¿cómo se dice? Your um, university? No, um, un diplomado. Yeah, a diploma. Diploma, and I am a chef. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> what is your specialty? And the seafood. Oh my God, one of my favorites. <laughs> yes. Delicious food. Yeah, delicious food. <laughs> yes. So Carla is going to give us a demonstration one day, you know. <laughs> so he's like, here, I have a cocktail for everybody. I support that. Yes, me too. <laughs> All right, thank you, Carla. Who's next? Time is money. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Jenny. I am Jenny Quesada. Uh, I am 36 years old and I am married. I had one girl and one boy. Uh, my profession is lawyer. I, I live in San Miguel, in downtown. downtown. Okay. And that's it. Good. Is it hot uh, there in San Miguel right now? Yes. <laughs> As usual. Yeah, <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Thank you, Jenny. You Who is next? Who is next? Me. My name is Ordine Salazar. I live in Cuscatancingo, San Salvador. 
I have a uh, 23 years old and I am a psychologist. Oh, good. So you will study everybody in the class, huh? Yeah. You will I analyze will do... their answers and everything. Yes, that is oh, my job. Good, very good. Thank you, Linda. Who is next? Me. Go ahead, please, Annie. Um. Was it Annie? No. Who said me? My name is Nancy. I'm 20 years old. I live in Puerto La Libertad and my hobbies are uh, watch TV and read a book. Good, very good. Thank you, Nancy. Who is next? Yes. Thank you, Go ahead, Annie. My name is Ana Palma. I live at all I have 86 years old. I'm okay. single. I graduated uh, to the university uh, the last year. Okay. And the soul. Okay. What did you study? I studied at the university, Dr. Andre Bello. Okay. What career? Computing. Oh, good. Computer science. Very good. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, who, somebody raised uh, their hand. Who was it? Me. Okay, uh, Laura. Uh, yes. Yes, good evening, everyone. My good name evening. is Laura. <laughs> I live in Santa Ana, and I am 30, 33 years old. Okay, very good. Thank you, Laura. Who Thank is you. next? Who's next? Okay, I will be the next one. Yes, please. Uh, my, okay, my name is Antonio. I live in Olocuilta, La Paz, the city of Pupusas. Yes. And I'm single and I am 31 years old. I really like uh, play soccer, to play soccer, and uh, a lot of kind of sports. Good, very good. Thank you, Antonio. So you're an athletic person. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Who's missing? Marina, Josephette, Sarai. Okay, me, teacher. Okay, Marina. My name is Marina Sanabria. I live in Mexicanos and sometimes in Metapan. I, I am married. I have 35 years old and I have a daughter. Good. How old is your daughter, Marina? Three years old, teacher. Three years old, a baby. Yes, it's good. a baby. Very yes. good, nice, thank you. Who is next? Okay. Who is Me. next? Yes, Sarai. Okay, uh, hi everyone, my name Hello. is Sarai Martinez. I live in San Juan Pico. I'm 23 years old and I live with my mother and sister and I'm engaged. Good, very good. Engaged. What's the meaning of engaged, class? In Spanish, comprometida. It's my yeah. Yeah. So that means she has a boyfriend, and this boyfriend is her future husband. Very good. Thank you, Sarai. Who is next? Josabeth? Glenda? Yes, Glenda. Uh, good evening. My name is Glenda Martinez. I live in Santa Tecla. Uh, I'm 38 years old. I have a son. Uh, I'm a preschool teacher. Oh, good. Very good. Thank you. Anybody okay, else? You're welcome. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Josephette. Yeah. Well, my name is Josephette. I I am 22 years old, but I am gonna I'm gonna be 23 this month. Okay. Um, I am her stylist. You are? Her stylist. Uh, what is that? Cosmetóloga. Huh? Or peluquera. Peluquera. Oh, a hair stylist. Yes, a hair stylist. Ah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Hair stylist. Good, good, good. And, and I live in I live in Sonsonate. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. 
So we have some Sonate, Santana, San Miguel, Oluquilta, San Salvador, all the country. Very good. So who's missing? Who is missing? Grisela? Grisela, you first. Okay. Um, my name is Grisela Carvalho. Um, I'm 25 years old. And I live in San Marcos. I'm studying uh, in international relations at the University of El Salvador. I'm single. Good, very good. Thank you. Juan Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you too. My name, is, my name is Juan Carlos. I live in, I'm from Guasapa City. I'm 34. 34 years old. I'm married. I have one boy. He's three years old. And a girl. A girl. She's seven years old. Okay. Good. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Are we missing somebody? No? Okay. So, welcome back. We have different people in the group, we have different personalities. Some people are talkative, some people are shy, others are very sociable, maybe they're not too sociable. But at the end, in a, in a language course like this one, it is necessary for everybody, everybody without any exceptions to practice. So you need to practice, you need to speak, and remember, mistakes are necessary when you are in the process of learning something. Raise your hand if you cook. Raise your hand if you cook. Okay. So I see a couple of people. Okay. Do you remember the first time you cooked rice? Do you remember the first time? He said, what's that? He said, rice. Oh, okay. Like, you know. So what was the result when you were learning how to cook rice? Yes, I remember, but I don't know how to say it. Uh, masoso. The rice was masoso. <laughs> yeah. Masoso. How, how do you say sticky. 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 So the rice was sticky. Okay. What about now? Uh, well, now I prepare. I can, I can prepare a very good rice because uh, I worked in a Chinese restaurant. Good. So I can do uh, uh, roast cantonese. Very good. So at the beginning, you know, and I understand that everybody that raised their hands at the beginning, maybe your result was similar to Antonio's, like a, a sticky rice, a strange flavor. But you made mistakes, mistakes, mistakes that you learn. So English is exactly the same. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Any questions or comments? No question. Yet. No questions? Okay. While you were speaking, I noticed something. What is the correct form? Do I say I am 49 or I have 49? I am 49. I am 49. So in Spanish, you say, tengo 49. Tengo una casa, tengo un celular, tengo una computadora. Tengo sed. We always say tengo. But in English, yes, Carla? No, no. Okay. But uh, when you're talking about your age, when you're talking about your age, you need to use verb to be. Pregúnteme qué edad tengo yo. How old are you? How old are you? Are you? Exactly. You say, how old are you? Are. You don't say, how many years do you have? That's, that's impossible. So you say, how old are you? I am 20 years old. I am 30 years old. I am 49 years old. 
All right. Questions. No. Uh, teacher, is yeah. similar when you told when you two talk about uh, Mary, because uh, you said I get married. No, I am married. Okay, so the question is, when did you get married? So he said, I have been married for eight years. I have been married for eight years. Okay. Yes. So let me ask you the following questions about this. Give me a second. And here I am answering Louis a question. What are your expectatives about this life skill training? What's a life skill? Life skill. What do you mean about life skill? Good. Can somebody answer Louis' uh, question? What's a life skill? It's, uh, it's like an ability with need for do something. Okay. Good. In, in, especially in the life also for the whole life. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Do you think driving is a life skill? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It is. Do you think swimming yeah. is a life skill? Sure. Yes, it is. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a yeah. life skill can save your life. A life skill can change your life. It can improve your life. So English is not a subject. English is a life skill. Do you think mm -hmm. English can change your life? Of course. Yes. 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 In many ways. In many ways. Do you think English can save your life? Yes. Of course. Yes. 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 So remember. English can give you a better job. Exactly. English can give you a better job. So English is a life skill. So it's very important that everybody knows it. So I have heard you speaking. And you guys are doing pretty good. You guys are doing good. So, you know, like, imagine what do you do? And, and this is the first day of class. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of speaking, but this is your class. What do you do Fridays at 8 p.m.? Oh, in my case, I am sleeping. Right. What about someone else? What do you do at Fridays at 8 p.m.? I have dinner. Good. I sleep. I have dinner with my family. I dinner with my family. I go to the movies. I, I usually outside. watch some movies or series. Very good. I usually watch movies or series. So we have different activities. I send the homework for my team, my grown. Good. I help my daughter, my children with the homework. Good. So we have different activities that we can be doing from 8 to 9 p.m but you're making the space to receive this class. So uh, what I'm saying is the following. It's only one hour a day. Let me ask you, where, where else do you have the chance to practice English besides the class? Sometimes with my family, I try to speak English, but uh, they aren't, but they understand me. And in the work with some uh, co-workers. Good, some. very good. All right, someone else? Where else do you practice English? Similar, but I also use a, another apps. Good, very good. So this is what I'm saying. If I ask each person here, where else do you practice English? There is a good possibility that somebody's going to say, this is the only space that I have to practice my English. So if this is the only space that you have, how do you say aprovechar in English? Take advantage. Take advantage, very good. Take advantage, right there. 
Take advantage means aprovechar. So if this is the only place where you practice the language, take advantage. Don't be absent. Don't be absent. So it's normal to see many people the first day of class, but uh, second week we see fewer, third week we see fewer. So keep that in mind. Whenever you have the chance, um, be in class, be present. Any questions or comments? No? Yes, me teacher. Yes, I'm telling you. Um, and uh, I find an uh, app very good and it's called Hello. And there are some people, native speakers in English, that they want to, to learn uh, Spanish. And we want to learn English so we oh. can practice with them good it's very good. it's very good app. maybe you can share the name in the whatsapp chat yes of course thank you very much antonio so and this is for everybody if you have a link if you have a site if you have an application that can be useful for everybody in the class go ahead and share it okay something else how can you improve your vocabulary? Maybe watching movies in English. Good. Watching movies in English. Let me ask you, is your cell phone English or Spanish? English. My English. Phone Spanish. Spanish. Is Spanish. Okay. Interesting. Why Spanish? Do you need more Spanish in your life? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not really. What, what language do you need more in your life? English. 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 Okay, good. So this is my suggestion. If you want to expand your vocabulary on a daily basis, you need to expose yourself as much as possible to the language. Right? So whenever you see your cell phone and your cell phone is in English, you know, you see the same word, you see the same word. One day you internalize the word. And when you internalize something, the word is yours. How do you say ajustes in English? Sitting. Settings. Settings. How do you know, how, how do you think Antonio knows the word settings? Because he used the phone in English. That's a possibility. Yeah, that, that's yeah, a, that, that's a Okay, or maybe his computer is in English. So here's the message. If your cell phone is in Spanish, you will never see the word settings in your menu, never. But if you transfer the menu to English, you will see settings today, tomorrow. How do you say pasado mañana in English? The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. And, fíjese bien, toda palabra que yo pongo en el chat, y usted no la sabe, it is your responsibility to write it down. To write it down. Yo vi que todos se agacharon para escribir ahí the day after tomorrow. That's good. That's nice. So the day after tomorrow, how do you say anteayer? Remember, it's, it's anteayer, no antier. Antier is Salvadorian. We want to speak good Spanish too. How do you say anteayer in English? The day before yesterday. Excellent. The day before, before. yesterday. The day before yesterday. Anteayer. Correcto. Así como están haciendo, ocupándolo todos ahí. Very good. Así me llega a verlo. Good. Any questions or comments? Raise your hand if you have Facebook. I have Facebook. Okay. 
Now, is your Facebook English or Spanish? Spanish, Spanish again. Spanish. Why Spanish? Do you need more Spanish in your life? Spanish too. <laughs> so it's very, it's very simple. It's very simple, you know, like just change the language, English. At the beginning, you might find it a little bit strange. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, this is not normal for me. But it's normal. It's normal. So your, your cell phone, your Facebook, and your email, if possible, if they can be in English, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Anyways, so right now I'm going to assign you to work in pairs. The question is, what are your expectatives about this course? Where do you see yourself in four weeks? You say, oh, four weeks, that's very short. Yeah, but if you put commitment, if you put real interest to the classes, uh, four weeks from now, you will see changes. I guarantee you that. So let me assign you breakout rooms. Is there, what is the question? What are your expectatives about this course? Ah, okay. What do you Thank expect? You. All right. So here. Improve my language. Yeah, improve English. Okay, so speak with the person that I assign you to. I'm Laura. I'm Laura Rodriguez. And you? I'm Ana Palma. Hi, Ana. Um, I like to to acquire like more vocabulary. It's my is expectation for this course. Okay. My expectation is about this course. Um. The name is Ling Lingave. Lingave. I don't know what is the pronounce, but I can. Oh, okay, but I, can you send it uh, to the group of WhatsApp WhatsApp group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes okay, I. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? Fine, teacher. Hi, teacher. You? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Thank you. Where are you, Marina? Where is your house? I live in Mexicanos. Oh, Mexicanos. What part of Mexicanos? Uh, near the Walmart Constitution. Oh, okay. Close. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, sometimes I live in Metapan because my family live here. And, and now I work in my house. Yeah. And for my children, I'm going to visit my family because they help me with my daughter. Oh, okay, good. So your daughter is in Metapan? No, she in with me, but when I visited my family, my mother helped me with Oh, them. okay, <laughs> good, good, good. That's nice. Yeah. And Glenda, you're in Santa Tecla? Yes. What part of Santa Tecla? Uh, south, uh, Despensa de Don Juan. Okay, good. Santa Tecla is a nice city. Yes. I like Santa very Tecla. Nice. I love Santa Tecla too. Yeah, it's a very, very and nice do city. Do you live in Lourdes? I live in Lourdes. So Carretera Los Chorros is the division between your place and mine. But I would Maybe love you to. Live yeah. In Bosques de Lourdes or no, Bajo Tiempo. Uh, no. no, no, I live in Nuevo Lourdes. Ah, good. The, the, the poor no, side no, of Lourdes. Is, huh? 
It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Carreteras son sonantes. In, in Poniente or in Mega? No, the, 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 the first part of Nuevo Lourdes, not, not Poniente. Ah, okay. Yeah. Do you know the area? Yes, uh, there was a pupuseria there, the El Bambú. Okay. But now it's a pizzeria. Oh. Uh, it's a pizza store. I don't know okay. how to say. Uh -huh. Yeah, pizzeria. Okay, pizzeria. very good. All right, nice mm -hmm. talking to you girls. Zero, Thank you. Three. Hmm? Ask me something. Okay, you're a teacher, right? No, I'm not a teacher. Oh, no, you are a Sorry? You are a teacher or a hairstyle? No, hairstylist. I'm not a teacher. No. Hairstylist. Hairstylist. No, I'm not. You're not a hairstylist, sorry? No, I'm not. <laughs> what, what do you uh, do? Um. Well, I'm a student. Where do you study? But I just... I study just, just English. Good, very good. Yeah. And, yeah. and where do you live, Sarai? I live in San Juan Pico. Oh, Pico, it's, that's near Lourdes. Not near, but yeah. same area. A little bit. Yeah, like 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Okay, good, very good. Let me visit another room and then we go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. Thank All you. Right. Are you shouting? Oh. Um, I lost my vocabulary and when I was traveled, I lost more vocabulary. So now I do it to watch movie, uh, listen to music, or sometimes I read in English uh, some books and now, also with uh, classes about Instaform and Les Cooperativo, and now if you practice, you can you can have more vocabulary, and the pronunciation um, will be better. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. They say it was very heavy. Yes. Two hours. Yes. In, in the in the five days. Yeah. <laughs> It's tired, but it's, it's better for the, for our, our because, because it's, uh, we can't speak English. We can't speak it with other people. It's my problem. It's always my problem. When I, when I start to, to speak, I get nervous, but Hi, oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? Mm -hmm. We're meeting each other. Okay, that's good. Because you guys will be uh, together uh, for the next four weeks, maybe for the next eight weeks, maybe for the next 12 weeks. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So... It's good that you guys interact and that you guys uh, know each other. Okay. Yep. All right, so let's return to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, welcome back. Thank you. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We miss you. <laughs> All right. So, um, anybody wants to share your expectatives about this course? Yes. Yeah, go ahead, Luis. Yes, because I um, have a, a very interesting way to interact with another participants in, in, in the classroom. Um, I I, I can, um, how I can sell, um, 
I can imagine that, that the dynamic in the classroom, it's this. Yeah, the class has to be practical. Remember, practice makes perfect. I was giving you the example when you were learning how to prepare rice. Uh, raise your hand if you drive standard. Can you drive a standard car? Okay. Yeah. In my case, I can. I, I don't know drive. Okay. So the ones that said yes, do you remember when you were learning how to drive standard? What was the car's reaction yes. when you were in the seat? <laughs> the car was turned off. Exactly. Yes, Again, the yes, car is yes, off eight times. times. Every minute. Yeah. Or when you had other cars behind you, awful. you're anxious. Like, oh my God, I'm nervous. Yes. Nervous. It's normal. It is normal. But years later, you can drive with your eyes closed. Right? <laughs> because you made mistakes. So mistakes are necessary in the learning process, any learning process. Anybody else wants to share your expectations about the course? Anybody? Only Lewis had expectations. Yes, uh, Max. Can I try? Sure, please. Okay. My expectative in this next four weeks are uh -huh. to improve my pronunciation, to, to know more vocabulary, and to improve my fluency. Good. It's correct fluency. Yes, fluency. Yes. Fluency. Yeah, fluency. And practice more and practice grammar. I like to practice grammar. Okay. I, I, I like to, to write exercise of grammar. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. You know, everybody has different learning styles. Some people learn by writing, others just by watching, others just by listening, others by doing. So everybody learns different. Okay. That's good. I, I learned something like I learned something like how do you say kinesthetic or learning kinesthetic? Yeah, kinesthetic. 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 Yeah. Kinesthetic. I need I need to to practice to to feel. feel. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Good. Thank you. Someone else? Another volunteer? Volunteer. Volunteer. Yes, I really want to improve my pronunciation. I think I have a. Uh, um, I don't know, like, um, not too much vocabulary, but it is enough to have a conversation with a people, but I, ha I want to improve the pronunciation, not just to know a lot of vocabulary. Good, good, very good. Nice. Someone else? Someone else? Someone In my else? case, teacher, yes. I, I want to practice more English. I improve my pronunciation. I acquire more vocabulary. Um, and my uh, punto flaco? What do you say? My, punto flaco? my weakness. My weakness is the verb in past. The, 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 or the, the conjugation? The the yes, and the practice the grammar and speak in, in past is okay. my weakness. All right, very good. Now remember, your goal, your, your main objective is to understand other people and that other people understand you, right? So let's say you're speaking with a gringo and then you ask him, Niri, ¿qué tal su fin de semana? Oh, yo ir a la playa en comprar muchos cocktails, whatever. You know, grammatically speaking, he's not good, but you understood the message that he wanted to send you, right? So English is exactly the same. So if I tell you, uh, my brother don't have a car, do you understand the message? My brother don't have a car. Yes. 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 Now, we have grammatically say, speaking, yes. what is the correct form? My, my brother, brother doesn't, doesn't have a car. Doesn't have a car. Excellent. So when you go to the United States, you know, people make mistakes, like the one that I'm telling you right now, my brother don't have a car. And nobody's going to tell you, no, Francisco, it's not don't, it's doesn't. You know, so just communicate. And American people, they are used to speaking with people whose language is not English. So they understand. They understand. So keep that in mind. 
Okay, anything else? Any other questions? No? Okay, let me, let me share this with you. Can you see my black screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yep. but, but I don't want you to see the black screen. I want you to see an image. Let me try. You know, I, I, when I connect, I connect myself with, with Wi-Fi. Sometimes it makes it a little bit slow. Okay. Can you see the picture? Yes, teacher. It's a conversation. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay. Down the TV. Okay. Look at the picture. Where is this picture? In the living room. Okay, in the living room. How do you know it's the living room? They are watching TV. Okay, they're watching TV. How do you know this is the living room? How do you know? For the, the sofa. 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 The sofa. Right. How do you know they're watching TV? Because in the living room always have a TV. Okay. Because Look at the conversation. It's, it's about turn down. The right. Right. Okay. And the boy is looking in front of him. Exactly. What's the boy doing? What is he doing? He's eating. 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 What, what is he eating? Some chips. Uh, potato chips. Chips. Potato. chips. 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 What about what about the girl? What is she doing? She's talking, talking about skin for the skin. skin. Okay, good. What is the what is the name of this? I don't know. That is the handrail. The handrail. Repeat please. Handrail. Handrail. Yes, handrail. Let me see this here. Let me put it in the chat for you. Pasamano, handrail? Yeah, handrail. Exactly, pasamano. Now, where is this? Okay. My goodness, where am I? Up, teacher. Ver opciones. Huh? Arriba, donde dice ver opciones. A la par de la Oh, línea. right there. Yes, right there. Thank you. So, um, see this? Handrail. Handrail. Give me a second. Handrail. My God. So, hand, like hand this, and rail. R A I L. Handrail. 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 Right here. Yes, like that, Elena. Handrail. Good. Any questions about the picture? Okay. What's the what's the man wearing? What is he wearing? A pullover. Okay, how do you say camisa manga larga in English? Formal tennis? Long sleeve. Long. Long sleeve. Long sleeve. Long sleeve. Let, let long me write it for you. You say long sleeve. Long. Long sleeve shirt. So if you want to say camisa manga larga, you will say long sleeve shirt, like the one that I'm wearing right now. I'm using a long sleeve shirt. How do you say manga long. corta? Yes, sure. Short sleeve. Short sleeve. Short sleeve. Short sleeve. So the man is wearing a long sleeve shirt, right? Mm -hmm. What, what do else? you say desmangado? <laughs> uh, okay. How do you say that, that, that thing in Spanish? So he has a pink long sleeve shirt. What does he have on top? 
Vest. Vest. Very good. He's wearing a vest. Teacher. Yes, yes. sir. If, if, if we can say uh, the color, the color is first. He's, he's wearing red long sleeve shirt. Yes, you can say it. You can say it. Okay, thank you. Yes. So vest. How do you say vest in Spanish? It's right there in the chat. Vest. Chaleco. Chaleco. Very good. What color is the sofa? Green. It's green. 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 Okay. The sofa is green. Yeah, the sofa is green. What's on the floor? So the floors are books, backpacks, books, backpack. Mm -hmm. Backpack. What else? Sitting on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Yes. On blanket. Yeah, blanket. And blonde girls are sitting in the sofa. Uh huh. So, any questions about the picture? The picture. Why the fathers are screaming? Good question. That's going to be our next uh, mission to read and see what's going on. Any questions there? Okay, so remember when we are reading, in the reading, there is always punctuation. What is the function of punctuation? To take a break. What is the function give of punctuation? The, give the to correct to, sound to, to understand words. to understand the reading. Uh -huh, to understand the reading better. How do you say signo de interrogación in English? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. How do you say punto? When you finish yeah. the sentence, yeah. period. Period. Yeah. period. Very yeah. good. How do you say signo de exclamación or de admiración? Oh. <laughs> exclamation mark. Exclamation. exclamation mark. Right. Good. What is the function of a comma? What's the function comma. of a comma? A pause. Comma. A, a pause. A little. A little pause. pause. In the conversation. Okay. What is the function of a period? To it's a long pause, uh, maybe change the thing, the, the theme. Okay, a long pause, you're supposed to stop, right? So what is the function of the question mark when you're reading? Your intonation is supposed to be of a question. So they ask you in Spanish, donde fuiste? Que te dijeron? Como te llamas? It's a question, but the intonation in El Salvador is very flat. There is no intonation for questions. English is different. So where did you go? What did she tell you? Did you go to the meeting? So if you want to sound more natural, your questions need to have a intonation of a question. So keep that in mind. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No. No? Okay, so, so tomorrow we're going to start with the image that I showed you. We will talk about uh, the conversation and we will practice other topics. If you don't have questions or comments, thank you very much for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 It's a good Thank class. You. I like Thank it very much. Thank you very much. Thank nice you for your time. You. Bye bye. Good. Bye bye. Good night. See ya.